We're in Perth, birthplace of Heath Ledger and also known as the sunniest state capital in Australia. Um, it has a population of over 2 million. It was founded in 1829 by Captain James Sterling. It is often called the most isolated city in the world with its nearest city being Adelaide, which is over 2,000 kilometers away, but actually the most isolated city is Honolulu. Um, Perth is actually closer to Bali than it is to um, the capital, Canberra. And apparently the sausage rolls are something to be called. So while we're just walking down this street, uh, Celine's been practicing her Australian accent. As have you, and get you've been getting completely tongue-tied. Go on then. G'day, Sheila. Throw a free shrimp on the barbie. <laughs> that sounded good to me. I, I yeah, don't know whether the people of Australia would think it was good. That like sounded absolutely good. Absolutely butchering their accent. Look at right. this. Elizabeth Key with this, with bars, and with the water, and. It's April and it's fairly cold. It's only 18 degrees today. So everyone's wrapped up. It's very quiet though. Yeah, really quiet. So the Elizabeth Key is like a new development on this river, the Swan River. Um, yeah, it's quite a nice, nice place, isn't it? But like you said, not very many people at the moment, maybe because it's a public holiday, Anzac Day. And this morning we were watching the huge parade of all the uh, former servicemen walking down. Where we're heading now though is like a silver, how would you describe it? A monument, a bird? It's got to be a bird, isn't it? Yeah. Definitely. Here it is. A big bird in a small boat. Right, we're going to walk across the bridge and it's just started raining. Slippery when wet. Do you know what famous 80s rock band had an album called Slippery When Wet? And my band used to play one of their songs. Oh, you had to get them because you were in a band. I used to be in a rock band. It was Bon Jovi. Anyway, it's a cafe. They were going to try to... Um, escape the weather. So we've got our coffees, but here's something interesting about Australian coffee culture. Starbucks has never really taken hold here. There's a few over on the East Coast, Sydney way, but that mainly caters for international tourists. Australians have never taken to it. Is it better than Starbucks? As Australians claim a straight homegrown coffee is. Is it? Look, you don't get these in Indonesia, where we live. Do you want any? Uh, yes, I want that. Mm. It's called the Bell Tower and it looks like you can climb up it, but because it is a public holiday, no such luck. So instead, we're going to head up there to a kangaroo statue monument thing. Oh, that's the oldest building in Perth. Where's that bit? That's not that, is it? No. That. There's the oldest building in Perth. What is this? It is the old court house law museum. Is it? No, you're not interested. Well, do you want to go down there? Celine has no culture. Jesus, I really wanted fair. to go and see that. <laughs> oh, he says walking away from it. Let's go and see a I statue want... of a kangaroo. <laughs> These are huge. Look at that. This is Government House. Wait for it. Look at that. Look how grand that looks. In Perth, CBD. Fan of the Perth Concert Hall? Not 
You look like a right thug there, you hood up, like a, like a hoodlum. Um. I'd say it's functional rather than uh it's not really aesthetically pleasing. Uh, yeah, that's a good description. Look at this building. Oh, look at this. What is it? Da -da. Ah, so it is the Perth Mint. Australia's op oldest operating mint, where you can experience the magic allure and wonder of gold. We've walked up a slight hill to St. Mary's Cathedral. This looks grand. 1926, the foundation stone laid. Right, let's infiltrate. Nice church from the inside. Amazing stained glass windows. Got a great chair for the gaffer to sit on and stare out. So we've uh, come into the uh, city centre. It is still raining, but what an unusual statue. And look at this building over there. I think it's like a shopping centre called the London or the English Parade or something. It needs to be on the other side. You eating a sausage roll between a man's legs. That is nice. Yummy. All right, let's have a walk down. This could be uh, York, Northern England. So it was officially opened in 1937. Oh, this weather, this weather. Coming to a coffee place, but look at the cakes. Six, yes, about seven pounds for one thing. Oh, strawberry blast. Anyway, oh, what is a coffee? Orange coffee cups, you saw. Oh, yeah. You're not going to say it. Try it. Are you trying it? That's nice. Tastes like a dessert. It's a bit sweet, isn't it? Yeah. Coffee done. Now. Back of the hotel. Sightseeing done for now. We've come into an Irish bar called Fenians. Thank God it was open. You can always rely on an Irish bar. But Celine is going to now point. To thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Is I'm going to point to where she was born? Go on then. Where were you born? Well, I was born there, but I love it here. Right up here, Donegal. In that, right in that peninsula. Nice. 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 It looks like a decent Guinness. Yeah. Right, how much did this cost? Guinness, Coke, bangers and mash, and for me, uh, Guinness and, and beef pie. $81, which is uh, £43. Pounds. 43 pounds. Well, nearly 44. Just for a pub. God. There you go. I don't even got any money left now. It's expensive. What are you doing? Hi, <laughs> three face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Can I have a new pint of Guinness, please? So we're back in the hotel. So that is it. Good night from Perth.